Thank you. Welcome back. This is News File. And um, if we tell you the stories of the individuals, you know, human faces that speak to us about their circumstances because of what is coming at them, you will be shocked. And you will look at some of our leaders and ask if they really appreciate what is going on, you know, in this country and the manner in which some of them are talking around town. Um, Atiapa says, my EDC, my EDC principal has been affected. Let no one lie to you. When I enrolled on EDC, I didn't sign up for what I see now. My Providence Fund is equally affected. Well, uh, Senior and his team will be explaining and they have been explaining what it means that every Somewhere, somehow, everybody else is affected somehow. Uh, Peter Doe says, We know we are in a very serious economic crisis as a country, but what most Ghanaians didn't know now is that our financial sector situation is very slippery and a looming disaster. All deposits, people's investments, including individual bondholders, and the finance minister tells us, that if we don't cooperate in this process, the country is heading into jeopardy. This, these are his own words in that his exclusive interview with um, George Uyafe. K. Amofa says, the more I understand Ghana's um, domestic debt exchange, the more I think we need to have a new manager at the Ministry of Finance, Ghana. Uh, Manfrey says, my wife, has been looking for a job since 2016 without success. She goes to Data Bank to withdraw her investment and is told all the interest is gone and her principal has also been reduced. This domestic bond exchange is wicked. Um, Vel Cannon says, commending Ghana's finance minister is like praising a bus driver for telling you to get out and push the bus uh, out of uh, a gutter that he rode into whilst he remains in the driver's seat with the air conditioner still running. Uh, that's for you, Senor Jose. <laughs> Aaron Corbin, uh, he didn't finish what you were saying, so let's hear him in full before we can criticize him that he's uh, unduly and unnecessarily praising the finance minister. Aaron Corbin says, we have a leadership crisis if the people don't call for stringent laws to protect our purse, we will have some people lead us into an abyss. Sayyidu Muhammad says, my fear is that people will start to withdraw their monies. That's if you get it. And I'm part of them because I don't trust the financial sector. Uh, Suta Davis says, which expenditure cut was the finance minister talking about? Has government reduced the number of ministers, number of CS CEOs, the useless staffers wasting our money in Jubilee House? This man is just as wicked as the word. Uh, it's difficult when people get into politics and they face certain difficulties. Uh, my encounter with Ken Oforiata in a different situation. He's not the devil that many see him to be today, you know? But what can you do? If you have him uh, making promises that he's reneging on, he's breaking them left, right, center, what, how can you fault people when they say that? So now let's get back to, uh, I've got a few more messages, but I'll share them shortly. Um, I, I, when I go to... Um, uh, Prof, I'll be asking about alternative because the finance minister suggests that there's no alternative. This is the way to go. But my question to you was that you were saying that the individual bondholders, you don't need their money to prop up the economy. It's not that we don't need their money, their money to prop up the economy. Individual bondholders, and let's be, let me define our constituency well. We're looking at people who hold, have holdings directly on the CSD and also those who have invested in the uh, central uh, securities depository. So when you okay. buy a treasury bill yourself, 
you have a CSD. If you buy a bond yourself through your bank, you have one. So the account doesn't sit with the bank. It sits with the central securities deposit. And that's run by the Bank of Ghana. It's a, it's a subsidiary sort of of it. Um, then you have collective investment schemes. So you have individuals too, who invest in collective investment schemes that also uninvest on our bond market. So you go to a fund manager like Tessa Capital, the Triple T, uh, was supposed, it's, a, it's supposed to be a risk-free fund, for example. Then you have uh, the fixed income from Stanley, you have EDC, Data Bank M Fund, EPAC, all those are collective investment schemes. But you have individuals who invest in it. Then these fund managers take it and invest on the bond market. The money doesn't belong to the bond fund managers. So if you negotiate with them, something happens, they don't lose. The only person really losing are the individuals who put their money there. So these are the people we talk about when we talk about individuals. Um, Samson, this is not that we don't want to give. Who is paying the taxes? Are they not the same individuals? With increased taxes, we are paying for it. We have not refused to. We are providing loanable funds to the economy so that the economy's wheels can run, adding other individuals. Mm. The treasury bills that are, is giving government lifeline today, same individuals. So but of course, up, the, the minister yeah. said yeah. treasury bills will, he, his no, words, I'm that, never you know, be touched. You're, you're, I'm referring mm. to, to your submission, right. saying that to prop up the economy. Mm. I'm trying to say that we are already doing everything we can to prop up the economy. We haven't gone on any aluta against an increment of our PAYE against the addition of, 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 uh, of, 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 of taxes on VAT. We are cooperating. We need to have individuals have confidence and sustain that confidence. Because look, that is where the real risk is. That's where we'll quickly transition from a fiscal crisis to an absolute economic crisis. And for me, it's my biggest fear. In addition, of course, is the direct impact that you have. This is the group of people who only trusted their government. And for them, the impact, there is no, there's no cushioning as compared to all the other structures. And when you touch this one, you will destroy your economy. That one, I can assure you. It's not rocket science. You just need basic economics to realize it. But on the spreadsheet, you realize that, oh, yes, when I add them, maybe this will balance. Now, they don't need them. That's the question. The finance minister said, and I wish your, 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 your team will put up the slides. If um, I think I shared some slides with you the last time, the question as to uh, are IBs required, if you can share it with viewers, that'd be great. You are asking for 80% participation. This group of people combined are just about 10%. 11% we say, but now they've even reduced it a bit for us. So you let's say still 11%. So it's just 11%. So all those who are watching on the screen, that is the red pie. Government needs the green part of the pie. So when you take out that red, you still have everything else to deal with. So why disrupt the entire economy? Disrupt the sanctity of it? Disrupt 6.5 million lives unsustainably mm. and possibly plunge us into an economic crisis? It's not a necessary feature. But you definitely need the broader economy to support government's activity. Maybe not this kind of DDE. We may have to negotiate it. There's a need for a reset in our entire paradigm, how we do things. Our tax compliance must go up. We must all start filing our taxes. We must all be willing to pay because we can't just claim it is an MPP government today. The Ghana is one. Whether it's NDC or MPP, nobody wants to be hungry. So we have to fix it because whatever it is, whoever caused it, we are where we are now. So we have a crisis. Government that leads must show their way. You don't show their way by increasing your expenditure by 40%. That's why I was saying I commend the finance minister for opening up for us to really have a conversation, for us to honestly look at how we fix the problem. Because from where we sit, what, the, what, the, what, what, what government was doing was trying try to take the, 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 the easy way out. Because it didn't want to take the hard decisions for itself. It rather wanted us to take the painful pill. And that painful pill had, can be counterproductive and very disruptive of the economy. Mm. You take your capital expenditure, I think that'll be the next slide. You take your capital expenditure, you've increased capital expenditure to 27 billion, from 15.7 billion the previous year. I mean, that'll be the previous slide. You see, it's another pie chart with a piece of, or the next slide. You have, you've moved it by that. If you actually take out 
look at the, this what you have on the screen right now is the budget increment increment the total increment in the budget right now which is which is which is about um, 54 billion that 54 billion if you reduce your expenditure by 6.6 .6 billion you still have an expansionary budget but still you didn't have touched individuals even this 54 billion i don't think you should be doing it because in the first place when you owe and you can't sustain your payments what you do is that you don't add more debt what we have done is that we are running a budget deficit of 61 billion meaning our debt profile what you have there is going to go up by 61 billion mm. so for starters when you, let me put it this way when you enter a bathroom and the bathtub is running the place is flooding you don't first take a, a, a pill to start point taking the water out you go and close the tap so you know that this is the quantum of, of problem i have and i have to drain the water out of the room mm. that's what you have to do what we are doing right now is we are running and opening new taps by adding more debt so that's the first step stop the debt too and if you want to stop the debt, just can just say that look, I'm going to live life just like 2022. If we live life like just, just like 2022, you will be cutting out 54 billion cities in your budget. But that will mean that people's lifestyle in government will change. But all of us sitting here, when we are cash trapped, when we don't have resources and we are broke, don't we adjust our lifestyle? When you are broke, is that the time to, 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 to move, 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 move from beer to champagne? You don't do that. From that time, you become a vegetarian. Mm. You reduce your... Uh, forgive me, my wife is a vegetarian, so... <laughs> but you, decide, you decide to change your lifestyle. You reduce the quantum of meat. This is, this is basic economics management. Our mothers could do it. I don't see why we can't do it. All right? and, uh, and some of us didn't have mothers who were economists. They were just caterers. All right? And they could do it and manage homes. And this is a broader sphere of it. We should go to manage. But in this government to make hard decisions. Mm. You look at the state owned The enterprise. minister says they are they are reviewing all flagship programs. You know, they are all under review. He's all of them. That, except that he doesn't, uh, he avoids the word review. You review. know, they don't like it. So he says they are being evaluated. That is a review. Evaluation is a review. So, I mean, just semantics here, which is, which is very necessary. They're talking about uh, SOEs. S S S SOEs are the problem. Government's debt, central government's debt itself is 80% of GDP. 79 points. So if you look at the NPC report of 2020 uh, for November 2022, so let's round it up at 80. Now they are 10 years old, we have gone past 100, and that's where the danger is. Who brought the 100? The 100 is actually coming from the SOEs and some State of government areas. Enterprises. Yes, and now people now get confused. Why was government saying 70 and now government is saying 100? Let's get this understanding. There's a central government public debt, and then there's the general government public debt. The central government public debt are the loans that central government itself, through the Ministry of Finance, is signing or through the Ministry signing with any counterparty or any lender. It doesn't even include the debt it owes, say, contractors. Mm. Those ones, we call them arrears or any vendor. Then there's the general government debt. Now, the general government debt has to do with all debts, which includes the arrears, and any state-owned enterprise debt that government has contingent liability for. And that's where the cocoa bill problem will come. That's where the bust debt will come. The ECG debt will come. The get fund debt will come. Now, when you put a lot of these state-owned enterprises, they are not self-sustaining. So when it's not self-sustaining, that's when you add it to the general government debt. And that's why we have gone up here. Mm. So if we are looking at fixing the problem, you don't look at only government, central government cutting its, its expenditure. Let's go and look at what is happening at the state-owned enterprises. Every one of them are, is bloated. Every politician wants to dump somebody there. When MPP goes, NDC comes, they want to put somebody there. We've increased our, 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 our institutions from 86 to 177. Why? You, you won't believe that when one of their own, uh, Dr. Stephen Amwa, yeah. was on this show once and said that they needed to do what he called delay the institutions because there are some of them there are three deputies on absolutely absolutely you know, this government started with its historic obolo over a hundred and uh, over a dozen ministers and we're justifying it um, my friends at city decided to just look at the communications outfit of the jubilee house alone and 22 individuals it, doing it, communication it, it, work it, it, samuel okujetua blackwa has from the start of this government been talking about that that place 
and the numbers of people that they put there, the hangers on, some of whom they don't have any work, just have to come and Look, sit there. the culture of politicians is that Ghana is a cake. Everybody's coming for a share and go. That thing must stop. Ghana is not a cake. It is a, a group of lives that you come, you administer, and you leave. So how you manage it should always leave legacy that's sustainable for our own well-being. When Ghana is good, it's good for all of us. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants Ghana to go down. But when people start talking, then everything becomes politics. This country is sick. Even common sense is even now become a matter of whether it is gr green or it is blue. My brother, what you have in government, the size of government today doesn't make sense. Mm. Central government itself has moved what? 300,000 people in addition since 2017. What for? You have an economy which had a public sector that has been very inefficient. So if you mean inefficient, you've come and the Bahamia has been touting technology. When you bring in technology, do you increase labor? When technology is added to, to the space, it means you optimize the productivity of labor, meaning you actually need less labor. Mm. But we have done the reverse. We'll spend the money on the technology and mm. we'll still now blow to the place. Mm. Now we have to deal with a, a, a compensation increment of about 10 billion, of about 6.5 billion. Now you've done this one that you have done right now. In addition, you've come to add 30%. It's important we start looking into all these 30%. If we listen to the arguments of labor, they talk about the incentives that have now been given to institutions like the Council of State. And they think that they also deserve some. Government has to cut its coat according to the size of its cloth. If you cut and match your expenditure for last year alone, you have saved 54 billion. If you're able to sustain our in revenue increment over the next three years, it means that over the next three years, without government really touching even the DDE people, Government has the capacity to pay off our old debt. Okay. It has that. Mm. But it means that it has to go through pain. You have to let go your part, your, your, your full soldiers that you have put there doing nothing. You have to sack them. You have to cut down on some of your projects. You have to revise things like the free SHS. Mm. The free SHS, for instance, is a great project because any economy growing needs to add the skills to its labor for, for it to be more productive. So once you have labor and capital and savings also a feature of your, of your growth model, your, your labor can be optimized by adding technology or skills to it. So that's what Free SHS wants to do. It's just not being structured. Do we really need people to give a crap for well-to-do homes to go to Ugehi in, 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 in Cape Coast and have this budget pay for it? No. Why don't we just say the day schools is free? Maybe you get just a meal. If you want to go to boarding house, you actually have to pay for it. Unless, of course, you don't have access to a day school close by and government funds it, we easily could actually save a billion of You know, the finance minister billion. himself had a similar view at the beginning, and it does appear, you know, he couldn't, uh, you know, uh, carry the day in cabinet. So now he too, his view appears to have I mean, changed. There, there are some SOEs you and, look at. And, the, and the wholesale matter. matter. But look, let, look, let me bring, one, let one me bring on. I, I highlight one. You have mm. close a billion that's going to MIF. Why are we doing MIF? They are my neighbors, very good people in there. What is it that's happening at MIF right now? Unless, of course, it was only set up to be able to facilitate in Japan. But if not, what is it at MIF that can be done at the Minerals Commission and the Ministry of Finance at the same time? Look at it. You are putting one billion in there. Mm. Meaning this could actually sit down and help reduce our deficit directly. 